Now there is great gain in godliness with contentment. Does your house seem too small or your car too old? Has your job become boring or your spouse grown unattractive? If so, the problem may be with your soul instead of your circumstances. When you're not content with your life, your relationship with God will be affected because you do not trust Him to provide what's best for you. Chasing after more of what the world offers may satisfy you temporarily, but ultimately you will be fulfilled only by pursuing the contentment that God wants for you. Here's how you can discover Christian contentment. Rest assured that contentment is attainable. If you trust God to help you develop contentment in your life, His peace will overcome the restlessness you constantly feel right now to acquire and achieve more. You don't have to be running on a treadmill toward fulfillment yet, never reaching it, because God has promised to give you the strength you need to learn how to be content. Understand why contentment is necessary for holiness. As a Christian, you should pursue contentment because God has commanded it. Contentment is a priceless spiritual treasure. A discontented spirit lies at the root of much sin. Contentment shows your humble submission to God's will and allows you to experience God's peace and a contented spirit helps you worship God. Beware of the dangers of discontented spirit. Discontentment is spiritually dangerous because it reveals the corruption of sin and rebellion in your soul. It undermines your dignity as a child of God and it interferes with your Christian witness to seekers. See contentment all the time, not just sometimes. God wants you to be content when your life is going well, keeping your focus on Him rather than getting spiritual comp complacent and easily distracted by worldly pursuits. And God also wants you to be content when you're struggling with challenges, trusting that God will use bad circumstances to accomplish good purposes in your life. Remember that contentment comes not by finding circumstances that you like, but by responding faithfully to whatever circumstances you encounter. Ask the Holy Spirit to renew your, your mind. Pray for the power you need to think correctly about your circumstances. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you develop the right attitudes that support contentment. Come trust in God's control and wisdom. Joy in the good God brings into your life. Submission to the bad that God allows you to suffer and a com commitment to respond gracefully to every situation you encounter. Long for God above all else, since a relationship with God is the only thing that has the power to truly satisfy your deepest desires make it your top priority to pursue a closer relationship with God every day. Devote the best of your time, energy, and other resources to drawing closer to God rather than to lesser pursuits. Be single-minded in your goal to know God more deeply and become the person He wants you to be become, making whatever sacrifices you need to make to do so. Find contentment in the midst of affliction. Accept the fact that suffering is inevitable in our fallen world. When suffering hits your life, ask God to help you recognize how He is mercifully using that suffering to bring about spiritual good in your life. Rather than trying to escape from your suffering, pray for the ability to perform the duties you have in the midst of it. Give your will and desires over to God and ask Him to replace them in your mind with His will and desires for you. Instead of being preoccupied with your own concerns while you're suffering, help others in need to take your focus off yourself and find encouragement when you see the positive difference 
you're able to make in other people's lives. Pray for the grace to be content in knowing that God is at work in your life even when you're suffering. Long for heaven. Recognize that you're ultimately a citizen of heaven rather than this fallen world. So you can be content that you can do God-given work while you're here and then move on to be in heaven where you'll enjoy being in Jesus' presence with nothing to separate you anymore. Whenever you must endure suffering on earth, remind yourself of the wonderful times that await you in heaven where you will have your deepest desires fulfilled. This is how our Holy Fathers and Saints of the Church practiced. Keep dying to yourself and living for God and others. You can keep growing more content when you choose each day to die to selfish desires and pursuits and instead live in ways that please God and show His love to other people. As you decide to choose faithfulness over selfishness, you'll gain freedom over sin that causes restless discontent and be able to enjoy calm contentment in any situation. You'll discover that your greatest joy comes from God Himself who is with you no matter what circumstances you go through. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. Live like a king. One day a passerby saw a homeless man on the roadside. He stopped for a moment to hand him some loose change and casually said, God bless you, my friend. I thank God, said the homeless man. I am never unhappy. What do you mean? The passerby asked. Well, he said, when the sun is out, I thank God. When it rains, I thank God. When I am full, I thank God. And when I am hungry, I thank God. And since God's will is my will, and whatever pleases him pleases me, why should I say I am unhappy when I am not? The man looked at him in astonishment and asked, Who are you? I am a king, said he. Where then is your kingdom? asked the man. In my heart, the homeless man replied. Yes, we can have nothing, yet have it all. So often we focus on what we have and forget who we are. The two are not related at all. What we have or don't have has nothing to do with who we are. The Word says that we are kings, and so it is. Let's give all our concerns to the Lord and see ourselves as He does, kings, that God in every circumstance and there he will find our victory. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, grant me thy grace, most merciful Jesus, that it may be with me and work with me and continue with me even to the end. Grant me ever to will and desire what is most pleasing to thee. Let thy will be mine and my will ever perfectly follow thine that so I may neither choose nor reject, save that thou choosest and rejects. Grant me to die to all that is in the world, and for the love of thee, to be content to be despised and unknown in this life. Grant me above all things to rest in you, and to still my heart to perfect peace in you. Amen. Amen.